Alrighty, YouTube, back at it again. 40 foot container trailer for Tamaya. Um, this video, we're going to do steps 12, which are building our legs, 13 and 14, which is just building our um, release, fifth wheel release, or leg release mechanism, and uh, the front of the fifth wheel. Uh, I've already done one leg, this guy here, so you can see what we're ending up with. Um, uh, we'll uh, build another one. Uh, to do this, you're going to need part, excuse me, B9, B3, two of these little B12 guys, they're, uh, they're just little nubs that are going to get screwed down to hold the spring in place. Um, you're going to need B5, B8, and then you're going to need a couple screws, which are going to be uh, one BC. Uh, well, I'll get to the screws in a sec. So in order to do this, the easiest way I find to do this is you take your spring, which is BC23. Um, this guy right here, it's got two little ears on both sides, as you can see. And it goes on... See if I can get so we can see this. It goes on this tab right inside there. So you just slide your spring in. I use my uh, exacto knife to hook the spring and get it rolled onto place. So when you're done, your spring should look something like this, just kind of wrapped around that. And this is where your little black nub comes in, okay there, and a screwdriver, and you're going to put this in place using um, BB5, it's going to be your shorter um, self tapper here, let me make sure I grab the right one real quick, okay, um, this is a lot easier if you have a, a somewhat magnetic screwdriver. Because, uh, well, you're going straight into a little hole, and you can't always fit your fingers in there. So, you just use a little magnetic screwdriver. It'll help you a lot. And then just tighten it down. Like so. There you go. So that's what you'll end up with. Alrighty. So we'll do the other side, this side here. So what you do with that one is you see on this piece you have this nub here. The spring goes on that nub too. This is where it gets a little more difficult. Because you actually get a little tension on the spring when you're doing this. Alrighty, so we got it set. <laughs> Another one of our screws. Our nub, our B12 nub. Now the B12 nub has a single flat side. That faces into the spring to kind of keep the spring aligned, I think, is their intention with that, but it really doesn't matter I don't I mean I don't notice a difference when I do it any other way so we'll make that screwdriver get that tight the bottom one alrighty that is your leg mechanism pretty simple straightforward you get your cover, which is your cover is going to be your B8. Uh, that just clicks into place. That's going to be held on with three of your BC12s, which are going to be longer uh, self tappers. And there's only three of them, even though there's four holes. Um, you can see the four holes here one, two, three, four. Those are the ones that. 
you're going to mount with, but you only use three of them because you have to use an Allen head screw on one of them to uh, to hold your pin in place, and I'll show you that in just a sec. Find my better screwdriver. So put three of those in real fast. There it is. So there's those three. Um, and then you put your Allen one in. So, but before we do that, we put our release hook in, which is our V5. That just sits in here like this. Um, it's going to get a short screw in the end. It's going to get your uh, BB-5 in the end right here. This is to hold your spring in place. So you can see you got your big hole and your little screw just goes in right there. And that just, uh, you're going to put a spring in it and it's going to hold that in place. So you put your, your screw in and then we're going to, and the last remaining bits of my, Build here. Here's your pin. You're gonna use your BC21, which is your pin, and you're gonna use your BC22, which is this uh, spring. So in order to do this, you start your little pin in the hole, and then you, while well, you gently hold it. You lock your spring on, and then your release mechanism for the leg. And they just go together like this. So, spring here, it just wraps around and connects into your screw. And the pin is here, so you end up with one of those. And you're going to use your Allen, like I said, an Allen head. It's a big head to secure it. Um, that's a 1.5 mil Allen. They give you some in the kit. But I've misplaced mine like I've been doing with a lot of my stuff today. So instead, we'll just use mine. So just run that down. And you'll notice the Allen head is tall enough that it actually locks this pin in place. You can see right right here locks that pin in place so that is how you build your leg just it works just like that so now we have two of our legs that is step 12 we'll go ahead and jump to step 13 which is building our fifth wheel um, our kingpin and our leg release mechanisms. Uh, this is the part that actually hits these tabs when you back your truck into it to release the trailer. Um, you're going to need your kingpin plate, which is just uh, in your bag C free. Um, you're going to need C4, two B2s. You're going to need your C3, C6, and C1. These are all the parts you need. Um, they're scattered around on the trees. Most of them come off one tree. 
but some of them are kind of scattered. So once you find all your parts, we're going to start with our kingpin. It's real simple. You you get this uh, kingpin joint. It's got a uh, uh, countersunk head that goes right in the center of your kingpin plate with a single flange screw and just tighten it down and voila you have one kingpin uh, these ones are a little, little easier or a little trickier they've got these um, brass spacer rings that allow this to spin freely so they just go inside uh, this brass guy here just drops inside your your B2 uh, and you gotta make sure you put them in directional they need to look like this because these two arms right here are actually what push out on this arm here so they sit like that and they push on this so that's what you need to make sure that they're facing the same way and everything um, that just gets us a, a standard uh, BC2 it's a 3 by 8 uh, machine screw Get started. All righty. Now this one's gonna bottom out. You cannot over tighten it. It the uh, brass part is actually longer than the uh, plastic it's in, and that's so that way you can tighten it and make it secure to where it's not gonna fall off, but it still gets movement. So do the other one. Uh, make sure you are doing a little Loctite on these uh, because they are a moving part. You don't want to uh, have it loosen up on you while you're driving and loose screws and stuff. Alright, so that's part, and then for the next part of 13, you get this guy, which is your BC3, and you get your, or I mean your part C3, and this is part C6 with another one of those brass spacers in it, but this time, the spacer goes down, and you can see that this has got a contoured line here this part sits in that contour perfectly so that's how you want to have it and then it just gets another uh, BC2 Screwed in from the underside. Okay. Again, free, easy movement. 
Um, now, part C6 also is going to get a ball link on the far end of it. That is where your arm attaches to push back on these guys here. There's a part that's going to go right here. This pushes back on it to allow it to release. Just run that all the way down and in until it stops. Um, and that is part three of st uh, step 13. And our last piece is your C1 and there's a groove there's a hole right here it's kinda hard to see um, that this t nub goes into like so and you're gonna end up with something that looks like this Um, and you just put that together using a BA7, which is just your bigger machine screw. And it goes in this corner. I'll show you in the corner in a second. It just goes in this corner. So what you have is this part right here moves freely and is locked under here. And these parts get mounted up like this. And this part is just a brace to make it so when you back in, this whole mechanism doesn't wiggle too much. Um, now we've got our C7, which is our wedge piece that we talked about that is going to sit right in here so when you back your trailer in it pushes like that this just gets a simple ball link end put in it nothing super special about it and you don't even have to worry about installing it in this part like this uh, they don't tell you to do it in the step to install it in this part like this. So, it, it's just free for now. And you don't want to lose it, so I kind of try and keep them together. Now, on step 14, we're going to need B5, or J5, H3. This, uh, this chrome piece is H3. It took me a little bit to hunt down because, well, it's a random chrome piece. Um, I didn't know it was chrome, so I didn't know what I was looking for. I was looking for another white piece. Um, this is J4. It's going to go under a piece like this. It's going to get some screws in it. You're going to need Q8. And it says Q4, but you don't really need Q4 for this step. That's going to be for step 15. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for 14, what you need is to secure these two together. You glue, you glue your H3 into place. Um, you can see J has a tab right here. This is where part of H3 sits in. Um, See a tab? It's really hard to see. I apologize. So we got a tab here. So that is what goes into your J part. And it just goes in like this. And it's just held together with two of your small machine screw, your BB5, and that's your 2x6 self tapping.
So, just your two, and they go in the outside corners here. Because you get your Q8 is going to get set on it. This is the part, um, you can see it's wedged. Wedged. This is the part when you back your truck in, it hits the fifth wheel and lifts up and aligns everything. So, it's kind of important to get it relatively right. It has two nubs here that lock in to this back corner right here. So, it should look like that when done on both sides. And then it just gets two long machine screws, or not machine screws, uh, excuse me, um, two long self-tappers, they're the 310 uh, BC-8. There you go. That is steps, excuse me, uh, 13, 14, and 12. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think, please. And, uh, Speedy Mix, signing off.